Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skladowski with iPhone Friday. Every Friday night at eight o'clock, we have the latest tips, tricks, teachings on how to use your iPhone and your iPad that much better. Like we uh, prefer to say, it is help with your high-tech life. So we've really been digging into the whole iOS 14 thing and all the updates and changes and all the cool new features. And uh, we last week introduced the whole idea of widgets, which uh, for those of you who you know don't know what a widget is, that's the big squares that you see now on the home screen of your iPhone. We'll jump over to my phone here in a second. Um, but anyway, I thought tonight we would take a little deeper dive into one of the specific kinds of widgets that comes on your phone, and it's called the Smart Stack. Unfortunately, it doesn't make me any smarter when I use it. I guess they're still working on that part. So let's uh, <laughs> dive right in and jump over to the phone and get started, shall we? So as we mentioned earlier, the uh, big square widget there up at the top of the top left of the screen, that's a widget, and it's actually a stack of three different kinds of widgets, which I put together for myself. That, I think, is going to be next week. I want to do the smart stack this week. So remember, we talked about when you want to add a new widget to the uh, home screen or any screen of your phone. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can put it on, you know, first screen, second screen, 10th screen. It doesn't matter, okay? All you need to do is tap, press and hold on one of the unoccupied areas of the screen. So that means I'm gonna tap somewhere down in there, like below the last line of buttons, but above the, the bottom row. So I'm literally just gonna lay my finger on it and wait for things to start to jiggle. And here's the new part, is that up in the upper right corner there is that plus sign. Tap on the plus sign, and that brings you to the widgets page, okay? So you can see that there are a lot of built-in ones, a lot of kind of standard equipment ones, like I've got a photo one there that shows pictures from my camera roll, and uh, there's one from, from a, uh, that app called Airmail, it's an email app, okay? I've got reminders, I've got maps, I've got my calendar app. Those are all pre-built widgets, which all I need to do is tap on it and it will add it into the home screen of my phone, right? So let's, for, for example, and we're not gonna do this, but I just wanna, for example, if I tap on the calendar widget, all right, and we talked about this last week, you have different views of the widget, so you can see by the spots down there underneath, right above where it says add widget, that shows me there's like five or six different views and I can scroll through them to see which one I want. Do I want the monthly calendar? Do I want the upcoming events? Do I want the upcoming events bigger? Agenda view, task, there's a whole bunch of them, right? Tap on the X up at the top right to get rid of that. Because the one I'm looking for, scroll down, scroll down, is called Smart Stack. Again, you don't get any smarter, sorry, no guarantees. But if I tap, on Smart Stack, all right, again, it comes in three flavors, or we should say sizes, right? There's the small square one, there's the, uh, you know, two size, you know, kind of double wide if you want, and then there's the much bigger one which takes up most of a full screen, okay? Now you'll also notice, look, well, it's really hard to see on this screen, I apologize. If you look, if you try this at home, if you look at the right side, of the widget. There's on mine, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different little tiny white indicator lights. And that's telling me that there are six or seven or however many there are different screens on this stack, this widget, all right? So let's pick this one. It's a nice convenient size, all right? And I'm gonna tap on add widget underneath. And there it is, it's added it to my home page. Now remember, last week we said I could drag this anywhere. If I wanted to drag it to a different screen, all I have to do is press on it and drag it, and I can drag it to the top or the bottom of the screens. I can drag it anywhere I like. I'm just gonna leave it right there in the middle for now, okay? And then when I'm done, I just tap on my home button or for you, you know, iPhone 10, 11, 12 people, swipe up, get back to your home screen, the jiggling goes away. Everybody, you know, locks into place there. So now you don't really see the little indicator lights on this stack at the moment, but because it is a stack, all right, I can use my finger to just scroll through the stack itself. So what I'm talking about is if I put my finger right on the top 
of that stack and I just pull down just a little bit. See, look, I can scroll through the different items in the stack itself. So then I have one of music, I've got a maps one, I've got a pictures one, top news stories, my calendar. Uh, I've got a, a kind of a couple of shortcuts there for news stories and text messaging and my email inbox, all kinds of things. Now, remember, as I always say, yours is gonna look different and that's gonna depend on the apps that you have on your phone. If you don't have this email inbox, this email, it's called AirMail. If you don't have that on your phone, well, obviously you're not gonna have it, okay? But you might have something different than what I have and that's totally fine. Now, how do you get to see what's in there? Remember last time, again, some of this is a review, I get it. If I press or long press, tap and hold on the, on the widget itself, now see I have a new uh, button, that uh, a new menu that pops up on the bottom there, right? So I can edit the home screen and we all know that makes everybody jiggle and I can you know go back and change things around. I can remove the stack, same as delete basically. But the one we wanna look at is the second one down where it says edit stack, okay? So if I tap on edit stack, now these are the apps that I have in that stack. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them, all right? So the first one, series suggestions, calendar, news, photos, maps, music, airmail, et cetera, all right? Now at the very top, let's start from up there. You'll notice it says smart rotate. What does that mean? Smart rotate means the phone, the, the, the software in the phone is gonna take its best guess <laughs> and it learns from what you do take its best guess as to which, which one of those screens it's going to show you at the top of the stack, okay? So right now, you know, I let it decide and it's got Siri suggestions first or count, you know, whatever. If the software notices that I use the calendar a lot, it's probably gonna move that calendar up so that it bubbles up to the top and I see that calendar widget most often. If I use maps or photos or you get the picture, whatever I use most often, it's probably gonna end up showing up at the top of that stack more often. That's if you want the phone software to decide what to show you. If you'd rather make that decision yourself, turn it off and literally just literally turn off by tapping on the little slide switch there at the top to turn it off, okay? And that will leave things locked into place with Siri suggestions at the top, calendar, news, photos, et cetera, et cetera. But what do you think? Well, I, I'd rather have my email, my airmail at the very top, so I see that more often. Well, that's what the little three bars are for over to the far right of each of those items. And it works, I think we've shown this in previous videos, probably a while back, but if you haven't, here's the review on that one. Again, long press, and I'm gonna do it on the ones next to airmail down there at the bottom. Long press, and you'll see that it kind of highlights that, you know, that listing, right? If I take my finger off, it kind of puts that little shadow around it, all right? And now I'm, I still have my finger on it. Or I still have my finger. <laughs> Let's make it easy. I still have my finger on it, and I'm going to slide it up. See what's happening? And I'm rearranging the widgets. So feel free to rearrange them in any way that works best for you. Airmail on the top, all right, calendar next, all right, news next, music next, whatever works for you, all right? And then when you're done, all you have to do is close it. Big X in the upper right corner there. Make sure the smart rotate is turned off, X, and you're done. So now I've got my email at the top. I forget the order we put them in. Email, maps, photos, Siri suggestions, use, actually, I think I'm going backwards. I think down is, is, is backwards. I'm not sure I remember. <laughs> but suffice to say, there you go, yeah. I have to flip up to go through the stack. Flip, I just learned that myself. So all right, I'm on my email, I'm gonna flip up. Now I'm on my calendar, flip up. Now I'm on top news stories, flip up. Now I'm on music, flip up. Now I'm on Siri suggestions, flip up. Now I'm on photos, okay? So just keep that in mind. Whatever way you choose to, to use it is the way that it will stay, okay? And also typically if I'm on one item, like if I'm on my calendar and the phone goes to sleep and I come back, it's gonna stay right there. It's gonna be on the same one. All right, so quick review. 
to add that smart stack widget, long press on any open piece of real estate and tap on the plus sign up in the upper right corner. Scroll down past all the examples and find the one that says smart stack. There you go. And then just tap on smart stack and add it. Once you do add it, right, you come back here and then you can edit what's on the stack just by long pressing on the stack and then choose edit stack, tap on edit stack. Oh, one last thing. If you change your mind, maybe I don't want, I don't know, I don't want Siri suggestions at all. Okay. I don't use that. I don't care. I don't want it. All right. It works just like anything else, uh, like in contacts or on your phone or on email, just literally uh, swipe or slide right to left on the item. So I put my finger on Siri and I slide over, see what I'm, I'm sliding over and it goes over and it says delete. And then I tap on delete and it goes away. Of course, keep in mind, we've said this a hundred times that does not delete the app. It does not delete any data or anything like that. It literally just takes the Siri suggestions portion out of the smart stack that you happen to have on the screen. And if you change your mind again, long press, same as any other app. It has that little minus sign up in the upper left corner, tap on it, remove the stack. Yep. It even tells you right there. See, removing this widget stack will not delete any data or apps. Whew, thank you. Remove, gone, done, home button, back to square one. Yay. <laughs> All right. So that's the smart stack widget on your phone. And remember, if you want, you can put it right on the home screen. If you'd rather have it on the second screen, you can have it on the second screen. It doesn't matter. All right. So that's going to do it. I just want to give you that one little meaty nugget there on how to uh, put the smart stack widget on your phone and how to make that work for you. So I think what we'll do is next week, we'll talk more about making your own stacks of widgets and how you can do that in different sizes and combinations and all kinds of things like that. So as always, thank you for joining. If you have friends or colleagues that you think would uh, get some use out of this, feel free to share it with them. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and jump over uh, onto the website at BillSkladowski.com and make sure your name is on our email list. Every weekend, usually on a Sunday afternoon, we send out uh, an email that tells you what the uh, previous two weeks, two videos of the previous week were. Try saying that fast five times. Uh, the previous two videos from the week and then also the handout for that weekend. I'm sure this weekend we'll have a nice handout that details how to create that smart stack widget, how to move it around, how to add to it and take away from it and all that stuff. All you got to do is head over to BillSkladowski.com and uh, click that middle click me button so that you know that you can uh, get on our list, sign up for that, and you are good to go. It's going to do it. Have yourself a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Keep washing your hands. And we will see you next week for What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday. If you have questions, by the way, questions or comments or would uh, like to learn something specific, feel free to drop a comment wherever you are watching this, on Facebook, on YouTube, on the blog. I read and respond to all of them personally. Thank you for having, uh, thank you for joining me. Oh, we'll see you next week. Take care.